is still up. We are here before sunrise on the Appalachian Trail. There's 500 again, and there's some sunset colors or sunrise colors. Appalachian Trail North, Grayson Highlands State Park. starting to freeze again this morning. It's currently 18 degrees with like 30, 35 mile per hour winds. Perhaps gusts higher than that. I'm not seeing it for very long. The sunrise is beautiful. I will say the time is not shelter I stayed in last night in order to capture a sunrise like this it was warmer. Uh, at least out of the wind made it so, so much warmer, being up in the top layer. Uh, very comfortable night. Look at that sun. Isn't that beautiful? So beautiful. I've forgotten all this time that my thermometer has a wind chill chart in the back of it. <laughs> so, uh, 15 degrees with a 30 mile per hour wind is a minus 5 wind chill. Today is March 29th, and this is Grayson Highland State Park. I finally found a place a little bit protected from the wind, thanks to these little trees right here. Good morning, and welcome to the Appalachian Trail. I am Sick the Eagle, known as Sick on Trail, and we are heading northbound from Springer Mountain, Georgia to Mount Katahdin, Maine. We are through hiking the Appalachian Trail in 2024. Currently, we are in Virginia. We just crossed into Virginia a couple days ago, and we are now in the Grayson Highland State Park. We started at mile 500 this morning, and we plan to go to about 520 to 525. There's a shelter called the Trimpy Shelter in there. Uh, then I'm probably planning on stopping tomorrow to make it easy to get into 544 tomorrow for Long Neck Lair. I am so glad that you have joined me on this journey and this adventure, and I hope you will continue to do so as today unfolds. Happy hiking, and let's head northbound. I found an icy trail here on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm eating breakfast at a little cliff bar, granola bar. I forgot to say in my intro, today is day 36. Blaze? Blaze? We have to go through this? Alright. This is kind of cool, the Appalachian Trail. There's the blaze to tell us to go right on through. I'm crunching on ice as I do it, and my poles are going to be hitting rocks. <laughs> because I can't carry it. So this is the white blaze right here. And we just came through this little tunnel here. This is the trail. And I met someone new today. Hi. What's your name? Squat. Squat. I actually met you yesterday, but yeah. first time on the channel today. <laughs> so nice to meet you. How how was this trail? It was really beautiful. I kept I kept stopping to take pictures. Yeah, so cool. sometimes it's beautiful. Yeah. And then they send us to do something like this, which is really, really cool. <laughs> AT likes to do that, right? Let's continue and see what we have. 
place down there and then we go out. Grayson Highlands. Something Squat was saying uh, as we uh, took a little snack break. That view was that uh, we don't generally sign up for this uh, when we're at home. Like it's cold and windy like this at home, we're staying indoors. But when we're out here in the Appalachian Trail, we uh, find a way to keep warm and we enjoy it anyway. PBJ just passed both Squat and myself too and the one thought in everybody's mind is ponies. Where are the ponies? <laughs> I have to keep moving, but this is amazing. Yeah, the best view is that right there. Hi, PPJ. Go find the ponies for us. Welcome to Grayson Highland State Park. somewhat fresher pony droppings around here so they're out here you know there's pony droppings all in the middle of a trail you think they know the rule that you're supposed to go like at least 50 feet from the trail before you do your business I guess nobody told them that and you're supposed to bury it as well right Technically, the rule is 200 feet away from the trail and water source, but I was giving the ponies a little bit of a slack here. The sun is up. It is 8.30 a.m. The sun's been up for over an hour and it's warming up nicely. It's already about 30 degrees. So, the first thing I noticed was PPJ standing off trail looking at something. So I'm like, pony question mark? And then I'm like, pony, explanation mark. Pony! Cut up to us too, the pony. when you can walk on the mud and it's all still frozen so it's not squishy.
We might be leaving Pony Land for the time being. Ponies can't get through this. Because I can't, I guess, turn that sharply. We are still in Grayson Island State Park, but we are not as high. Not as high. We are nearly at the Wise Shelter. And now that it is now 43 degrees and less windy because I'm less high, I'll be taking off my layers at the shelter. I think I was barely warm in these layers upstairs or up high. And now I'm getting warm, so. Out here in the mountains, you need to be prepared to uh, be changing your layers quite often. Sometimes multiple times in a, in, in a day. On the privy first, shelter is up here. It says no tent camping in wise shelter area. Probably because of the ponies. Yep, there's the shelter. Logbook's empty. Well, I took my thick pants off because that's harder to take off without a longer stop. Um, I have to put those in my pack and everything. Whoa, I just hit a branch with my hand. Um, but I left my puffy again head on because the wind started picking up again. And we might have more exposed ridges coming up. But I'm glad it didn't come down to Wise because there was a family tenting in the shelter. Um, taking up most of the shelter. So it was good going up to Thomas Knob. We've got another gate to pass. And now tent camping's permitted. You know, I just stopped about two tenths of a mile down trail to take off my puffy and my hat and my gloves. And now my fingers are cold again and my body got cold. So I decided to put on my rain jacket and I'm probably gonna put, on, put back on my winter hat and gloves. Just can't decide out here. Back into another pony pasture, leaving the woods again. We'll see if we see more ponies out here. Grassy bald seems to like to have 40 mile per hour winds. Not only windy, but it'd be freezing cold. Woo! Trying to blow me over again, but not as bad as it was on Hump Mountain. Not as bad there. This is only like 40 miles per hour, maybe with 50 mile per hour gusts. Anyway, we're here in the Grayson Highlands. or something over there. Landscape history. Here's about the ponies. Back into the wind. All right, three and a half to Old Orchard and five 
to Virginia 603 where there's a chance that the bird might be there. The bird on the trail hope that he would be there in the afternoon. It is now 11.30. All right, I am thankfully in the woods again and I find myself hoping that I do not have to go back out onto one of those balds because it is so exposed and so windy. Out here in the woods, it is rather pleasant and sunny and good weather and not windy. It makes a huge difference. So hopefully I'm done with the balds. It was pretty, but I couldn't stay long because it was so windy and cold. But hopefully I got some good images for the video. <laughs> I think I did. The best views have been the most exposed and windy and coldest parts of the trail so far. So while I want to stay a while and soak it in, I kind of wish I had a car and a heater so I could just sit in there and soak it in. Because I can't just sit down when it's like wind in my face the whole time and uh, danger of frostbite. Even when it's in the 30s or 40s, you can get frostbite if you're not careful. So. Don't hang around too long, know your limits, and uh, just try to capture it in memory how you can. Lovely pine forest after that bald. You know how much I love pines. And the difference now is that uh, you can now hear the wind gusting through the treetops, but it doesn't make it through the pines. Pines are a wonderful windbreaker. I met a group of day hikers from Buffalo, New York, who some of whom were in shorts and a t-shirt. I was gonna say, I hope you have jackets with you because it's cold and windy out there. But then I was like, they're from Buffalo. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Somebody said that the burrito man is at the parking lot. And I'm like, burrito man? I'm like, yeah, he's just handing out burritos. And I'm like, the guy with the white truck? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, fresh ground. <laughs> It's a world of difference down here. It feels so, so much warmer because the wind's all above us. Come out the back, the old orchard shelter. Nice little shelter and there's a log book. Looks like there's a nice flat tenting area over there too. There's been a lot of day hikers out today, which I'm surprised by because it's a Friday. It's a weekday, March 29th. So, guess people just have work off or something today. Just more, more than I usually see. I guess maybe I'm by a road crossing too. Anyway, nice day for hiking. So I'm glad they can come out here and hike outside and enjoy the beautiful day, as long as you're prepared for the wind up, up uh, the hill. <laughs> I just ascended below 5,000 feet for the first time, for, for the last time until New Hampshire. Ah, oh, say that again. We got burritos today, Sid. Burritos? Burritos. Take a look at the front of the table. This is the first time eating fresh ground in Virginia. First set up in Virginia. PBJ and Levi. Apples, fruit, but first, wash yeah, hands. And washing, plenty of fresh fruit. Those strawberries look amazing. Grapes, hot cocoa, tea, Gatorade. And we're doing burritos today. Yeah. Lettuce, cheese, tomato, onion, salsa, sour cream, and hot sauce. And we got the muy grande, uh, six flour, six uh, grandes, but there's six flour tortillas in a pack. Everything you need. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> Put a little butter on one side and flip it. Puff it up a little bit. You never yeah. get a meal without butter when you have fresh ground. So they've had two apiece, so you gotta eat two. You have okay. Two. Yeah. All right. I can do two. I haven't had lunch yet. Nothing. Nothing I make just <laughs> has butter. <laughs> yeah. Everything I make. Everything has butter. butter. Thank you, fresh ground. Yeah. 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 Burritos, a grilled cheese, French fries, cocoa. What else y'all need? Burrito, French fries. We had grilled oh, no. cheese as well. Everything you could ask for. They all have definitely taken it across slow and steady. Levi folded my burrito for me. Yeah. And that looks much better than mine. <laughs> 
Something about these bridges, I just appreciate them. In the water. This is the Appalachian Trail, y'all. That's the uh, Grayson Highlands up there. We're leaving it behind. I still don't know what to wear because uh, I still have my thick buff on and my hat and my rain jacket. Um, I, I might take that off uphill, but who knows? Um, I already started to feel a bit warmer. So Fresh Grind was telling me he watches some of my uh, videos and uh, he watched me unbox one of my resupplies and was thinking how I need to eat more food because he says I'm skinny too. So every time I see him, he tries to uh, make sure we eat enough and eat a lot and uh, we certainly take care of that. So thank you, Fresh Ground. So I ate two burritos and a grilled cheese and a banana that Fresh Ground made for us. So. I am full, I might not even need a dinner tonight. It's just after three o'clock, we stayed a little over an hour at Fresh Ground. I'm pretty sure we're climbing up to that. I think that's Hurricane Mountain, where the Hurricane Mountain shelter will be, about three miles up trail. And uh, our goal is still Trimpy, which is 12 miles from here. And being three o'clock, sun sets before eight. Might be a little bit of night hiking. We'll see what the day brings, but I will take fresh ground if it means a little bit of night hiking to get into where I want to be. Um, but uh, he did offer us to stay and have breakfast in the morning with him, which a later crew, Bristol and the rest of my uh, friends will probably take. But for me, it's just after three o'clock. We're continuing on. Also, PBJ is with me. We're both trying to shoot for Trimpy. He's hiking ahead of me because he hikes faster than I do, which is fine, of course. Um, Squat, who I just met last night, is camping with Fresh Ground. So it's her first time meeting Fresh Ground, so I'm happy for her. And uh, I'm not sure what Levi's doing. I also just recently met him. Um, but uh, yeah, they just met Fresh Ground for the first time, so that's awesome for them. We're gonna hike. This is what the climb up Hurricane Mountain looks like. It's a slope mountain, but the climb follows the side somewhere. So that makes it not terrible. Actually feels pretty good having just been fed by fresh ground. I feel fresh. That's why it's called fresh ground, right? <laughs> because this feels like fresh ground that I'm walking on. Anyway, going up the hill, feeling good. Let's do this. Well, y'all, you're, you're looking at the top of Hurricane Mountain. The Hurricane Mountain shelter is a mile down the other side of the hill. But uh, we're at the summit of Hurricane Mountain. And it does not feel like a hurricane up here, unlike the Grayson Highlands. <laughs> so, we'll keep on trekking northbound. If we haven't reached the Iron Mountain Trail, Appalachian Trail. So I'm just about to, at the Hurricane Mountain Shelter and the Trimpy Shelter is nine more miles. It is 4.30. So I am at my four hour pace. It would take me about four hours to do the nine miles. I'd get there about 8.30. That's the plan. All right, y'all, this is Hurricane Mountain Shelter. Uh, it's a nice shelter, very well built. Picnic table underneath the uh, roof here, but uh, Right now, the way this is angled, the wind is coming right into the shelter. So it would not be comfy staying here, even if I was planning on it. All right, y'all, I'm back in my winter hat, gloves, and raincoat for wind protection, as it has gotten uh, super windy 
especially when I went over to Hurricane Mountain Shelter. I went over there to use the privy because I just got fed by fresh ground and he feeds us a lot with a lot of butter. So often after getting a feeding, uh, you're in the lookout for privies afterwards. I feel like I can pick up my pace now because I have weight off me. So now onward to the next shelter of Trimpy. I do have to pick up some water and filter some water at this stream that I hear. And then uh, we'll be sending it. Hopefully a fast pace, but we'll also enjoy it along the way. But we will be heading right into nightfall. The nice thing is I've already eaten dinner and lunch by that severe huge helping from fresh ground. So there'll be no need to cook dinner. I'll just slide right into the campsite and uh, go to sleep, I guess. What is going on here? There's a tree. There's a tree right here. That's not on anything. It is literally hanging from that tree right there. Wow. Where did it come from? Oh, it might have come from there. I don't know, but wow. <laughs> Just found a bit of water, but I'm trying to move fast. Filled my Cenoc with the water, and then I filtered it with my Sawyer into my bottle that I'm soon going to replace with smart water bottles, like in a day now but trying to pack up now quickly again. I just keep this in the top pocket um, right here in a plastic bag, which uh, is right here in my pocket to keep the contents of the pack from getting wet. So I've got to get a move on and continue moving north. We have eight miles to go and it is six o'clock, but I'm not afraid of a little night hiking. I do night hiking in the summertime at summer camp. It's fun. I've got good headlights now. They will not fail on me. So I'll enjoy it. I'm still enjoying the experience. I'm not rushing. Um, I may have sounded like I was rushing. I'm not rushing. Um, just wanted to get some water while I had some light and uh, make as much progress as I can, see as much sights as I can. There's a waterfall in two miles I'm looking forward to. But uh, other than that, it's just a uh, little walk in the woods. I also do obviously have the option of tent camping if I don't want to go all the way, but I'm looking forward to night hiking. I enjoy night hiking. Um, the little bit I've done in the morning has been fun. Um, very possible. And uh, I want to make as much progress as I can tonight so that I have less to do to Long Neck Lair tomorrow since they have a reservation at the hostel. So I don't want to be getting to the hostel uh, really late and uh, I'm at like mile 519 right now and they're at 544 so I still have like 25 miles to do by tomorrow night so the more miles I cover now the less I have to do tomorrow and the earlier I get in the hostel the earlier I can use internet and Wi-Fi and work on videos and stay up less late Saturday night doing that because last time <laughs> Last time I was at Lady Dies and I was up till 11 o'clock at night editing videos and uploading them to YouTube to make sure they got up before I left on trail again. So it'd be nice to start that process a little bit earlier tomorrow night as well. You're gonna say goodnight soon, aren't you, son? That's all right. I've been trying to get an Instagram update out with one bar of service, and even that won't go out. The only thing you can get out right now is texts. No internet, no Instagram, no YouTube. One of the nice things about hiking alone in the evening right now is that uh, I know that nobody else is out here besides PBJ, and he's probably within a couple miles of the shelter by now. He might get there before dark, but there's nobody else out here right now. It's just myself and I in nature. And that's so serene and peaceful right now. I love it. I'm enjoying this nice walk and I was low key wondering, AT loves mountains, why isn't it sending us up there? And then I looked far out and oriented my map and realized that I'm going to be up there 
in a couple miles and the shelters on the other side of that peak. So yay, I have that to look forward to. Um, I wonder if I can make it up there within like 45 minutes for the sunset. Now that would be stunning. It's interesting, we have another high water route. Wonder how close to the water we're getting this time. Oh, I think we're going this way. Just like I said, we're going to that mountain. Up. This has been a little bit of a climb, but you know what? I don't mind it. It's nice exercise. Wow, wow. We're looping right up there. And then we're probably gonna go over that ridge all the way over there to behind that ridge where the Trimpy Shelter is. Nice. That's Comer Creek Falls right there. Beautiful, isn't it? Now we have to find our way down here and uh, across to that staircase somehow. <laughs> I bet those boards used to be useful up here. And then they got washed downstream. That's my guess. I made it. He's in those rocks to that log to this rock. I made it. I've been moving at a fairly good clip. I have less than six miles to go. And it'll be a long day, 25 mile day if I make it all the way to Trimpy, which I think I am. I'm enjoying this evening hiking. Well, if this isn't a nice new bridge, thanks to whoever put it in, it's gorgeous. I appreciate it. Wow, I look back and that's my view. It's Dickie Gap, Virginia 650. Only five and a half miles. To Trimpy Shelter and it's 7.30 p.m. No problem. Welcome, Mount Rogers Recreation Area. Why, thank you. This is very good advice if you get lost. This is exactly what you should do. I'm glad this is up here. Why well, look at that. This sign says only four miles of Trimpy. I'm not sure to trust that. I think far out's a better uh, estimate, but anyways, we're heading there. Turning into dusk now, but still a nice peaceful dusk walk uphill. Nice grade. All right, y'all, we're on an AT journey. I'm closing this out while you can still see me all, or that doesn't make any sense, while you can still see me before it gets too dark. The sun's setting. And uh, yeah, we're on an AT journey. This will shape up to be the biggest day. First 25 mile plus day. I'll tell you the exact mileage right here when I plug it in far out, when I get to the shelter and edit before I go to sleep. But if you would like to follow along for more AT content, this is only day 36. We're doing over a hundred days of this, you all. So there is so much more to come. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. But if you'd like to follow along for that 
more content, please be sure to subscribe. You may also turn notification on by hitting that bell, and then it will pop up as a notification for you. And if you'd like to follow along for live content, at least when I can post, when I have enough service for Instagram and Facebook to work, I will post live updates on Instagram, so follow me there as well. Same handle as my YouTube, at Stick the Eagle. For now, this is fun, you all. For now, remember to embrace the journey, and always, happy trails. This is the Virginia Highlands Horse Trail. Cool, cool. This is pretty. I've been hiking fast up this hill with all the energy I have from Fresh Grand's meal. Look at those mountains. Wow. This is why I love it out here. Good night, Appalachian Trail. I can't get over your beauty. There's the mountain ridge. One of those is the Hurricane Mountain. I'm using as much dusk light as I can before I turn on my headlamp. I'm gonna dig it out in just a second. I have only a smidge of climb left to get to this high point mountain top before it starts going downhill to the shelter on the other side. So, not too far. Tunnel of Mountain Laurel is real cool. Sunset colors in the background. Only three miles left, so I did not do bad at all. It's eight o'clock, by the way. Three miles left and it's eight o'clock and I still have enough light to see by. I love daylight savings. Trumpy, two and a half. Man, this is the spot. Look at this view. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. White Blaze. Appalachian Trail, Trimpy Shelter, one and three quarter miles. We're getting close. I love night hiking. It is 9 p.m. and we have made it to shelter. The, uh, if I can actually read it, the partnership shelter is 10 and a half. I think not today. <laughs> Let's go to the shelter. Blue Blaze. Shelter. Shelter. Not sure how far it is, but we're going. 